This is a demonstration of the new AutoBuzz feature within JTAG Live. We're going to start out with the same project that we used in the other videos uh, for uh, Buzz, Clip, and Script, uh, but this time I'm going to demonstrate AutoBuzz. So we give the name, uh, the task a name, and you can see here the two chains and two devices in each chain, uh, the same design as earlier. And I'll open up the AutoBuzz window, and you can see there are three windows here. It's this main, uh, the larger window here that is uh, going to show most of the information. Right now I'm in learn mode because the tool is going to go out to the board and learn the, the net list that is contained within that board and then show us the net list here. You can also uh, give it uh, certain constraints, that is drive certain pins high and low, and you can also ignore certain pins. We'll leave those blank for the moment. And uh, since we're in learn mode, I'm going to go out and tell it to execute. And now it's going to use boundary scan to uh, interrogate the board and learn the connections on the board, uh, essentially learn the net list of all the connections between all the boundary scan pins. In other words, it's going to drive and sense um, every one of the boundary scan pins on the board to determine how the, the connections are made on this board. And then we can save it, of course, and uh, then check this pattern against other boards that you may be working with. Uh, this could be done in a production environment, but this is really meant for an engineering uh, prototype environment where you just have a few boards and you want to make sure the devices are soldered down correctly. Okay, after several seconds, it will be uh, complete here uh, with the entire design in, uh, in the learn mode. And here, I'll just uh, move things over a little bit. And there they are, the, the U numbers or location designators and the pin numbers and the devices are connected to. So this is D600 pin 43 is connected to D201 pin 7 and D600 pin 43 and it has done that with all the all the connections on the board um, and here are some connections that are just purely uh, self-monitoring in other words they're connections that don't go to uh, another boundary scan that's a boundary scan pin that does not go to another boundary scan pin so I'll come over here and put it into compare mode and now it will uh, run through the same, uh, same pattern to verify that the second run or a second board matches uh, the first board. And you can see here it's showing you the connections again, but it's also highlighting uh, the connections in green uh, to let you know that that connection is... Uh, is the same as the previous run of the board or the previous board that you are working with. Um, if you're working with the same board or a series of boards, maybe you know four prototypes, you want to make sure that they're all uh, identical. And if they're not identical, then that this will focus in on that particular point where there are problems on your uh, prototype boards. It'll take uh, several more seconds uh, to complete here, and then we can uh, scan through the data uh, by uh, moving this uh, scroll bar up and down. And I'll hit the, the compare mode with a difference on and off. And you can see there are no differences uh, between this run and uh, the previous run of the, of the tool. You can also look at uh, uh, power pins, ground pins, self-monitoring pins. Um, if I turn off the self-monitoring, the power and ground, here is a, a list of all the, the net lists on, on this particular uh, board. And that's it. Please go to jtaglive.com and download your copy of AutoBuzz today. Thank you.